All right, people, welcome back. More Cod Review. So, on Monday, we looked at holding arms, and today we're going to be looking at holding legs. I know it's a merit card, something, something about merit. He, he's into that, uh, that, uh, that masochism, that sadism, that, that, that kinky shit. He's going to hold your arms, he's going to hold your legs, and he's going to go to town on you with Wing Dragon Raw. Hello? I got hella dirty real quick. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and look at holding legs. Uh, I don't want to compare it to holding arms because it seems like an entirely different card, but still, uh, still, go ahead and just compare and contrast a little bit. So this is holding legs this time. Uh, Dark Fiend, Effect Monster, level 4. Alright, same thing. Same thing as, uh, as holding arm. Uh, 800 attacks and no defense. So I think a little bit more attack, but much less defense. So, ooh, but that's not really saying much. I mean, 800, 600, you're not really doing much of that, especially for a level 4. This is some pretty low stats, but uh, let's go ahead and read the effect. So, if this card is summoned, summon period, special summon, normal summon, pendulum summon, whatever, doesn't matter. Revive from the graveyard. Return all set, spoiled, and trap cards on the field to the hand. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Just to go ahead and and this is a particular thing that I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of some end phase during your opponent's turn revival. Because that sounds some busted shit. Just being like, alright, well, I have, you know, I'll set some background. Especially and this is what and this is what excites me. Dark. Fiend? Uh, stay with me. Stick with me here. You bell? Uh, you bell that? Uh, you bell that? You know, with a little, with a little bit of the, you know, with the the fiend grieving or or, or rhino. You know, send this. And just we have another monster send to graveyard. Because one of the things that's definitely susceptible to um. Uh, Supervised Ubel, if you guys don't know Supervised Ubel, uh, one of my favorite Ubel decks, the one that played in real life, that's just been steadily hurt by the list and just falling apart, it seems. Uh, one of the things that is very susceptible to is back row. Back row hurts it. Uh, the deck is chock full of revival cards, but doesn't have a lot of room for hate when it comes to back row. Uh, I previously tried to make a version that ran, uh, you know, Royal Decree, but I need Revival Chain for that version. And it's just really susceptible to the back row. It can't run too many uh, Twin Twisters, because while there are monsters you want to pitch, there's also monsters that you don't want to, uh, there's cards that you don't want to pitch for Twin Twisters. And, you know, back row. You set a whole bunch of back row against that deck, and you keep on hitting me up as a game but with this i can simply just put this in the graveyard then with the turn before you know during my opponent's turn when next turn i'm totally planning on to go off with uh doom shaman with super supervised place and revival place i could just be like all right during your end phase call the hunted limit reverse and oasis all three of them it's nine revival cards Summon back holding legs. Holding leg effect. Return all set spells and trap cards on the field. But at least it says all set because if it was just returning all spells and traps, then I would get my you know my rival card back and I could just loop the hell out of that. It would just turn into a whole triv situation all over again. Just like oh yeah, return this fiendish chain. Return this uh, this uh, revival card. Just like trip, but no, just all set. So close holding legs would stay, which is fine. But uh, you know. Use one of my nine revival cards that can summon holding legs, summon back holding legs, return all your back row back to your hand during my opponent's end phase, of course. That means that I don't have to deal with none of the back row during my turn, draw, go off, and probably game, <laughs> depending on what hand I have, or just bust out a powerful uh, synchro monster, Beals, or whatever. So, yeah, <laughs> return all set spells and trap cards on the field back to the hand when summoned, period. Even if it's just Normal summon, return, you know, that, that's great, that is great, that is like a giant true nade for, for just summoning this card, so, not bad, not bad, I'm, and it's a level 4, it's a fiend's effect monster, it's a dark, I, I, I gotta give it the same exact props that I gave holding arms to holding legs, you know, so, while holding arms is kind of like a fiendish chain, this is kind of like a giant true nade when summoned, and that's just powerful, at least it's, like I said, at least it says all set, because, if it was just all spells and traps, period, then oh my god, just, mm, let me get, Fiendish Chain something, summon this, return to Fiendish Chain, kill your monster, reset the Fiendish Chain, like, oh my god. So, uh, it actually has another effect just like holding arms, so let's look at that as well. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Okay. Then target one, set spell or trap your opponent controls. It cannot be activated until the end of your opponent's next turn. Okay, so, uh... You pretty much be like, oh, during my turn, go ahead and banish him. Target that set, throw a trap. It's blocked for the rest of my turn until and for the rest of your turn. So even if it was just a bluff, even if it was just like a set rota that you're just bluffing as back row, you can't activate it during you know your entire next turn. You have to pretty much revolve two turns around because it'd be my turn when I play this. You can't play it. Your turn, you can't play it. My turn, like I said, if it's a bluff, like a rota or something, you can't play it. Then your turn again. So two rotations before you can play that card. So that's not a bad effect. Uh, 
And as I said, it depends on what you're planning in, but just being able to go ahead and summon this giant tree and everything, it's in the graveyard eventually, whether it's, you know, you send it to the graveyard to do some revival shenanigans, like I'd probably do in Super Five, so you just Pendulum Summon it, you know, uh, that's a, it'd probably be a little bit too late when it comes to Pendulum Summon, because you're probably going to get hit with Song Strike anyway, so you're going to, like, Pendulum Summon all your monsters, including this, and it's going to go off and be like, hey, return all those spells and traps, and you're probably just be like, chain, or oh, unsummon, go ahead, let me just hit you with that, uh, with that uh, some strike, you know, you were never summoned, so you're not returning shit. So now like, did you just lose everything? Your holding legs won't go off because it was not summoned technically. And uh, yeah, so Pendulum Summon, not sure, but you know, an end phase revival under uh, you know during your opponent's turn, end phase revival, return on spells and traps, then go off during your turn, especially with the stats. Like, his stats are just perfect. Like I really hope that this card uh, comes out soon. I think it was real that uh, uh what's that one card that uh maybe capital g was talking about with you send you uh were playing it in the in the ocg i can't remember the name of the card hold on give me a sec oh my god it, it's in the millennium packs i know that it's in the millennium packs uh card of demise i know card of demise is in the millennium packs for tcg kind of hoping that you know uh, also uh wing dragon raw phoenix mode so Trying to cross my fingers that you go ahead and put holding arms, holding legs in there too. I, I didn't even read card and card and mass. I'll probably do it next week, but holding holding arm, holding legs too. Then uh, totally, totally one holding legs, throw it in my deck. Like I said, with it being dark and fiend, and with me playing you bell deck, especially uh, you know with possible uh, you know rhino or fiend grieving, sending those uh, fiends. You know, send you bell, send uh, tinker. Uh, Doom Shaman's a spellcaster, so no, but send holding arm, I mean holding legs, but I can promise that I could play holding arm, so probably not, not sure. Not sure, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't seem like I'll really have room, but I'll probably play one holding legs. It's into the graveyard, revive it, return all your, your uh, spells and traps, my turn, Doom Shaman, super, you know, super vice, all go to town on your butt, and I don't even have to worry about any back row, so yeah, I'd probably go ahead and play one of these. Uh, it just seems like uh, just a great tech for you, Bell, just yeah, just exactly what you both need it for uh, dealing with back row, you know. Even even with uh, Royal Decree, I mean, you draw it, you draw it. You don't, you don't. But this, I can set it up. I can set it up, and there's going to be a pretty good chance I'm going to draw some rival cards, because all three of them work. You know, it's great, you know, generally, I mean, come on, monsters work with call. Watchers work their ways, sure. But... It's 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 just, it's just a great time when a card works with limit reverse too, you know. And while Tinker works with limit reverse, uh, Summoner Monk works with limit reverse. You can do that too. You can go summon Summoner Monk. Response? No. All right. Summoner Monk pitch. Summon Holding Legs. Holding Legs effect. Return all your back row. XE into you know whatever. And now I don't have to worry about your back row at all. Like I said, it'd be much better if I had that Lavalvo chain, but still. Uh, just be able to go ahead and do that play as well. Go into Dagu Sarmo, Dagu Sarmo, Detach, Summon back Normal Monster, Summon Doom Shaman. Quick Supervise, Supervise, Summon back Tinker. Synchro Summon in two Beals. Supervise, Summon back Doom Shaman. That's 18, 24, 3,000. Like, wow, off of just that play. And it's all thanks to holding, like, just freeing off that back row. So, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and tech one of these in, there, in the deck and, and uh, Supervise. So, I don't know. We might try then this upcoming stream, possibly. It all, it all depends on whether uh, Holding Legs is in the... Uh, Millennium Pack or not, because I'm seeing some Merit cards in there, so go ahead and put that Holding Arms and Holding Legs in as well for the TCG. So anyway, tell me what you guys think about this card. I, I, don't know, I haven't been this hyped for a card that just happens to work with you, Bell, since Mountain of the Down, and I think that was actually the first card of you. So you came back full circle, I think we're like a hundred and something card of you, and finally you have another card that happens to uh, help this makeshift free agent deck that we call Supervised Bell. So uh, we might be trying it out in the stream and hopefully we get something because that deck has just been shaky as of late. So if I can get it working, uh, I, you know, I would be happy to make it again in real life and play it for fun. So uh, like in, right, right now, I have the cards. It's just scattered all over the place. I got, you know, the reverse there, you've all there, Doom Shaman there, and just, you know, the cards are just scattered. And I, you know what? I don't even have any real life builds either. Uh, so I knew I would have to keep, pick up some bills. So yep, bills, bills, this is bills. I I don't know. <laughs> so uh, anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Card View. Tell me what you guys think about holding legs in general, and uh, if I should play it in in all that because I'm hyping it up. It sounds good. It sounds power. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Uh, of course, I'll be back next week with some more card reviews. Like I said, uh, with you know Millennium Pack. Uh, coming out with Cardamize confirmed from TCG. I should probably go ahead and review that. I know that like, Capital G talked about it with Shenju, so I'll talk about it with that as well. But, uh, yeah. 
go ahead and uh, do card demise, and I don't know what else. We'll find out. Uh, it's kind of scraping the barrel, like I said. There hasn't been too much new things that have just been like, whoa, blow you away. So, I'm kind of just going back and, uh, you know, reviewing cards that I kind of skipped over. And, uh, I don't know, we might even get to cards that are just not even new. I don't know. Card review is just reviewing cards. New, old, whatever. It doesn't matter. You know? I might even review, the, uh, review a goddamn Charizard. Card review? I didn't specify it had to be Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> Alright. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.